So let's go ahead and check over some of the information we're seeing out of the Army and Navy tabs in the ledger. Okay, so to probably nobody's surprise, the USA, number one in terms of force limit, and they'll probably be definitely number one in total because they're just not using their armies at all. Number one in manpower, I'm assuming as well. I don't know where Germany has come from. Germany, a power that really hasn't gone to war at all, um, besides, you know, the only territorial gains they made were against, I believe, Switzerland. I'm pretty sure off the top of my head they've only attacked Switzerland and uh, grabbed land away from them. I don't think they, they might have taken like a province from from France, but uh, anyways, yeah. So the USA pretty much just destroying here. Number one in terms of manpower total and force limit. Number two is Germany. Now are they even? Yes, even in total, they are still number two. Manpower they're doing pretty well. Russia not too far behind, but I think in total, nope, nope. This is all about the same. Yeah, it's, it doesn't start to make changes until you look at. I mean, even Canada is doing really well for themselves. Look at Canada here. And remember, the USA and Canada are allied. I don't know if that alliance is going to stay like that for very long. I think that those are two, two, they're, they're, they're too great of powers to stay allied. That's, that's my philosophy behind it. Look at Greece. Is that in terms of force limit? Yeah, Greece is really high in terms of force limit, but they have nowhere near their force limit levels. Greece is in sixth place. That's crazy. And then, you know, everyone's talking about it, Spain. Spain, fifth place in terms of uh, army size. A little bit higher than India and Peru. And then Italy, not too far behind them either. Oh, man. Okay, wait, actually, let me just do one more because I know that we talked about possibly looking into navies a little bit. USA number one here. Italy at number two, which is going to keep the Mediterranean safe from any sort of African uh, countries that might try to cross into uh, European the European continent. Spain, so both Italy and Spain having these large navies more than likely in the Mediterranean is going to keep them safe uh, from any sort of Africans, yeah, like trying to, to push the Europeans out. Japan doing pretty well. Remember, Japan is allied to North Korea at this point, so maybe they would, uh, I don't know if they'd stand a chance at stopping the U.S., but they might be able to try. Uh, we should probably be looking at total, yeah, see, forest limit is, is going to be different, obviously. Drew, Great Britain actually has a bunch of ships, then Canada, then Germany, who doesn't even have that many coastal provinces. Brazil's doing pretty well, no surprise there. Indonesia, there's Italy still, there's Spain and Greece. Anyways, um, yes, let's continue onward. Let's go off towards our current wars. Is there anything that's happening? Besides Spain and, I think we knew, did we know about this war? Pretty sure we knew about this, Nigeria and Mali. Um, so, yeah, I mean... At this point, Africa is just, it's its constantly at war. And it's pretty much been constantly at war throughout the entire series so far. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's especially bad at the moment. I would say it's especially bad at the moment because it, it really, uh, I mean, Spain is, is coming in and they're just not stopping. They, I think that they're finding loopholes. You know, obviously the Spanish now control a ton of territory in Africa that, that cuts deep into the Sahara and, and even south of the Sahara. So they've got multiple ways they can expand if they need to. Boom, another coastal province. They still haven't completely eliminated Morocco. Um, but yeah, they're, they're grabbing coastal provinces. Oh, Greece is at war with Turkey? Yes. Uh, when did that pop up, sir? Hello? <laughs> Greek-Turkish imperialist war. And Turkey is losing that. I'm sorry, Greece is losing that. How? Cyprus, Israel, is it because of Israel? Because you've got Ukraine on your side. Like, I don't understand. I don't know how strong Ukraine is at the moment. Maybe maybe Turkey's still kind of a beast. It's a possibility. Even though Syria's cut into territory and Greece is cut into territory. Oh, the Saudis, back at war with Iran. This is going to be big because this, this is it. I mean, this will solidify... Uh, Saudi, Saudi control over the Middle East. If they were to take like half away from the, oh, who is that? And bam, oh, this time it's bad. This time it's personal. China, Germany and Sweden are going to help out China. Actually, that might be, make a big difference. Again, the Swedes control the Baltic Sea. Germans have a bigger navy than we're all expecting. Um, they're going to drop off troops here. I did forget that Germany... 
Or I forgot to mention that, yeah, Germany has already a province here. Russia's going to have to deal with the Europeans. Okay, so this war is going to come down to who the war leaders are. It's actually a German versus Russian war, which is a big deal because... Germany's going to do more damage to Russia. China might be forced to separate peace, though. I feel like they're going to have to be. This is, they're taking on too many things. China's going to be forced to see peace. Yeah, I, well, let's see here. What's going on? Let's zoom in and take a look at this. Uh, Indonesia's not there to support China. Everybody in this war is, for China, all their allies are back in Europe. They're not going to be able to help out China at all. They're going to be focused on taking out Russia. That's one good thing, is they won't have to worry about the the North rushing down. However, yeah, Myanmar and, and India is going to make things really tough. So I think we should see China probably lose a little bit of territory, being forced to separate peace in a few months. But I think ultimately Russia will lose the war. Russia, The Russian AI will be distracted. Yep, it's already happening now. So if they're lucky... You know, if they're really lucky, if China's really lucky, um, Russia will have already lost so much war score that China wouldn't feel the need, I guess, to capitulate and get out of this. And we'll see. I know this is not EU4. Capitulating is an EU4 term, but it still it still works. It's such, a, it's such a good word. It's a very good word. Let's look at China's individual war score. Yeah, they're at negative 34 already. Even Kazakhstan's getting involved. Kazakhstan's not even helping out Russia at this point. This would be crazy to see both, even though they're at the opposite sides of the war, to see both China and Russia lose ground together? Insane. That would be insane. Hey, look at Mali. Holy crap. Mali just ate a bunch of territory. and They got themselves, and Gambia's looking good too. This, the, uh, the borders are really starting to consolidate here. Peru looks about the same. They did take, you know, half of Chile's uh, coastal provinces away from the north. We'll see who can win here. Who's Egypt ally to? Egypt has really no strong allies at this point. And the Saudi war is still taking place. Who is this? Oh, yeah. there's So it's actually Kenya versus Somalia. That's why the Saudis and Iranians got uh, caught up in the mix, I guess you could say. Nigeria is at negative 19 war scores, so that was an offensive war by Nigeria. They probably saw that Mali might have lost some troops in that war to expand down towards the south, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. Negative 44. So China's at negative 44. Russia's only at negative 21, and they're on opposite ends of the war. Like, this is just crazy to me. Now, these occupations are going to Germany. I think it's safe to say Germany is going to expand their reach... In, uh, oh yeah, also Russia lost this territory, looks like to Poland. So, I think it's safe to say that Russia will no longer have a coastal province in the Baltic Sea anymore. They definitely should not. Even Kazakhstan's starting, oh man, Kazakhstan's starting to be occupied a little bit. Is it possible for the Europeans to make such a dent that they save China? Or they distract at least to India enough... I, 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 there's no way. There's no way. China's going to have to... China's going to have to lose this, right? Half the separate piece? Oh, Poland now got involved. When did that happen? Well, yeah, that makes things even tougher. This is also going to really help Ukraine. Remember, the truce with Russia and Ukraine will be up... Jeez, where is that at? I, I don't even... I don't even see it. It's probably right there in front of my face, but... It'll be up... Unless it's already up? Is it? Maybe it is. Cracklord is blind. Cracklord can't see. I don't see anything though, so. So maybe maybe I'm right. Yeah, it is up. It's up already. Interesting. Uh what happened here? Wow, Kenya lost so much. And look, the Saudis lost territory. I did not think that was gonna happen. Iran eventually you ended up actually taking their course back. Looks like they ended up taking, yeah, Iran ended up winning that, and Somalia ended up, ended up kicking Kenya way back too. That was unexpected. I did not, I did not expect to see something like that happen. Afghanistan versus Pakistan, that might be interesting. 
Remember, Afghanistan's doing really well. It should be a loss for Pakistan. Egypt versus Libya. Indonesia. Ooh, versus Myanmar and India. Indonesia, that's a smart move. And Spain, once again, at war. This, this time against Western uh, Sahara and Gambia. China ended up not losing a thing. They got really lucky. Very lucky. I'm interested to see what will happen with Indonesia here. And look at Germany. Germany is like... Finland is like a more... <laughs> just What is this called? This is just called German Russia. I would have liked to be like German Eastern Finland. <laughs> I don't know. I know that Finland's never at one... Yeah, never expanded. I don't know. German Novgorod would have been cool, right? German Novgorod. Yeah, anyways. I don't know what I'm talking about here, but... Another kind of loss for Russia, but not... Again, it looks like it's a big loss, but it's not really considering the fact that Russia has been... You know, for the last, like, three or four videos, Russia's been expanding their, their borders. So, it's just like Russia's back to normal now, kind of. Since they grabbed all this development in in uh, Siberia, Siberian lands. Okay, now Indonesia's starting to get pushed back a little bit. And India's here to help. India's not taking any of the glory for themselves. Libya is completely occupied. Now, how does Span Sp Spanish, the Spanish feel about Egypt? It's okay. They've got an okay opinion of each other. I don't know if that's going to stay the same. Look at Greece. Oh, I didn't realize that Turkey had fallen apart. Some major, just some weird things happening as of the last two videos. Like, really strange um, exchange of, of territory have been occurring. Oh, I didn't realize Belarus kind of expanded due to... Russia's loss of land in this in this region. All right, Egypt. How long are you gonna stay at war for? Oh, you're only at nine. You're only at nine war score. Indonesia's at negative twenty-seven. But the problem is that Indonesian navy will keep them safe. Oh, they ended up. I don't know how they ended up landing troops here. Oh, but you know what? India's navy is contributing now a little bit. That will make the difference. Did not consider that. Come on, Australia. I know you want to. I know you want to. I know you want to go after Ind Indonesia. Just do it, man. We're all waiting for it. We're all sitting here just like twiddling our thumbs waiting for Australia to do something. Spain now after Libya after... Oh my gosh, yeah, Egypt just grabbed a whole bunch. Who are you at war with, Spain? Are you at war with Libya or are you, are you at war with Greece? You're at war with Libya. Um... Greece should be safe, I think, from this. Ethiopia and Kenya. Ethiopia going to try to regain control over Eastern Africa. It's going to be tough, though. Wow. Okay, yeah. Some really strange things are happening. Not sure if just, like, all the... Just everything is breaking down. I don't know. Some weird stuff like that we've never seen before or is occurring. Look at Mongolia taking out Yarkand and expanding their this little arm into Chinese territory. And there it is. Indonesia begins to fall because Indonesia's navy wasn't able to uh, fight both of these forces back. Oh, they've, they've pieced out, though. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. They, uh, oh, there is a strait. There is a strait. That's, that's the thing. I mean, do you still need a navy, uh, naval dominance to cross this strait? Or if the AI, if you're lucky, the AI will be stupid. Dang. Okay, so yeah, crazy powers occurring. Now, who is Egypt allied with? Ethiopia and the Saudis. That's not an Iraq. Uh, that is not as strong of... You need stronger alliances, was what I'm trying to say. You need way stronger alliances. Spain's not stopping, and it is crazy. Mali's collapsed, I'm guessing, so Nigeria ended up losing or winning that offensive war? I'm assuming... I think they did. I think Nigeria ended up coming back and beating Mali and, and forcing them to, you know, separate, collapse. I uh, didn't make a comment about this, but Spain, Spain has also annexed their uh, former vassal, Tunisia. We also have Spanish Mali now as another colony. Spanish Niger, Spanish Chad. Don't mess with Spain. Okay. Uh, this is the biggest war that Spain has had to deal with so far in the campaign. Egypt 
the Saudis, Ethiopia, and Iraq. And I just made a comment that I don't think this is going to be enough. It might be enough. Is Spain fighting this alone? They are. They are fighting this alone. That's a tough one. That's tough to say. Is that a vassal or is that a... Oh, yeah. These... I was wondering if they had vassalized something in, in French territory. But no, no, they didn't. I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. I don't know who's going to win this. The Saudis did just lose a war, which was pretty surprising. Ooh, yeah, that's a 50 stack. Well, Spain won that battle. Uh, I don't want to make any predictions just yet. I'm still not entirely sure, but it looks like Spain is starting to, you know, get a better hold. You know, they're probably organizing their regiments a little bit. Now, what Spain needs to worry about in this situation here is somebody attacking from like Gambia or Liberia or something like that. Liberia all of a sudden expanded by quite a bit. Um, Afghanistan becoming the new Pakistan. Afghanistan allied to uh, Kazakhstan and going after Turkmenistan <laughs> and Iran. So lots of stands at war with each other. With Which stand, I'm not entirely sure about this. I believe, I don't know if it's an Arabic word, Arabic term. I don't believe it's Farsi. Farsi is just Persian, but Stan means land. Just not sure if it's in Arabic. I'm assuming Arabic, but uh, but yeah, that's why all the stands here. So Afghan land, um, Kaz Kazakhs, Kazakh land. It's a Kazakh land, Turkmena land. You know, I'm guessing people from this this land is you know the Kazakhs. The Afghans. And Spain is just releasing more and more colonies, I swear. Okay, wait, 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 what's going on here? Which I don't know if that's going to be the downfall because, again, if Spain has a bunch of colonies that they got to watch out for, they're going to have to be careful of the Liberty Desire and the independent declarations and, you know, who's supporting the independence of which nations. I mean, this is going to be tough. Afghanistan's winning their war over Turkmenistan by 36 war score. Spain's only at 4 war score over Egypt's. Now they're at 0. Ooh. Look at Afghanistan. Holy crap. That's crazy. You're now allied to the Saudis and Kazakhstan. Again, everyone hates Iran. So that's a big deal for them. Oh, Russia. Russia and China starting to warm up to them, though. I mean, China at one point was allied to them. Are we seeing more uh, irreligious provinces? Not really. It's kind of about the same, I'd say. So some really weird things are starting to happen in this world, and I love it because the borders are just changing so drastically every single year, and I think that that's the funnest thing about this present-day timeline mod. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.